uh, there's just more and more focus on how to decarbonize. It's been there, but it, it's continuing to accelerate. So for us, uh, our systems that are fed by big cogens, that's great. It's the most efficient way to burn methane. But then the balance of the fuels that we use for, say, the winter peaking, we need to figure out ways to go to alternative fuels. We need to figure out ways to pull carbon off of our portfolio because, you know, obviously because of climate change and the concerns over that, but also the drive from our customers. It's a must. We've been pretty active in looking at biofuels. Uh, so uh, waste fuels that can be recovered, whether they're from, you know, one of them, for example, is from restaurants. Mm -hmm. So typical vegetable oils that get recovered through collection networks and then can be burned without modification in our facilities. Yeah. So you get a dramatic carbon reduction because, first of all, it's a vegetable product. Secondly, it's a waste product. And uh, we've tested those out in our facilities. So now the issue really is price point. Can we get it to a point where there's an economic price point where the customers are willing um, and we think we can. And then the next question just becomes volumes. How much of this stuff can we get our hands on? Which is why I make the point on incentives. The asymmetry and incentives out there in the industry between renewables and what we do on the thermal side, it's like here and here. So uh, to the extent we can get more incentive support, we can drive that whole value chain. The collection networks, the, the processing facilities, the logistics. Our systems are indifferent to how we energize those. Whether we're putting energy in or taking energy out, um, we're indifferent. Uh, so now it's just really finding new alternative fuels at the right price point and to get interest enough, support enough, policy support, customer support to do that. Literally, I can go into policymakers in a city like Boston or Philly, for example. In Philly, I can say, we touch 100 million square feet. Yeah. And if we do things at our plants, like put an alternative fuel in, we just touched. 100 million square feet. How else can you do that? You know, other than the electric grid, okay, which the electric grid is its own animal as work continues to greenify that. But on the thermal side, districts are the only way to touch those huge swaths of building square footage.